Hi there, how's it going? It's Fon here again. Today I'd like to have a very little basic intro look at some of the software that you can use with your shiny new 3D printer that you've just gotten. So this is this is just a very, very brief overview of what I found worked for me. Um, Thingiverse.com is a great little website. It has a bunch of 3D files for free. Uh, typically they are STL files, that stands for stereolithography uh, files. So that's that's what we'd typically be using. I just want to give you a quick little look at this. Um, for example, you know, we could click on robotics. There's good old Wally. Bionic hand, robot dog. Or if we clicked on Music, there's a nice little flute, amazing. A string grinder, a guitar. Finally, one of my favorites, we could even click on RC vehicles. But basically, there's a whole world of stuff. RC chassis, um, quadcopter chassis, outside of a car shell, etc. Okay. Now, just before we get into Thingiverse, there is another way you could do it, which is to go to the likes of SketchUp. Or one of its competitors. Um, I'm going to do a separate video about SketchUp and that's about actually doing the 3D drawing yourself. So we'll look at that in more detail in another video but for now let's just say we're starting on Thingiverse. Now there, there are two ways you could do this. You could just get a super simple, um, for example you could go one centimeter calibration cube. Just for example, and you could get them. Okay, but what I want to look at instead is a nice famous little thing is Benchy. It looks like it's just a little toy, but there's more to it than that. Benchy was designed as a calibration tool for 3D printers. So, you know, you'd, you'd download all files. Look on this other website here, uh, instructables.com. Step two, measure and calibrate. It says exactly what sizes everything in Benchy should be so that you'd, you'd know if your 3D printer was working properly. Okay. Um, so I've already downloaded. Let's go ahead and open that. Um, there's another very nice piece of software called, it's also free, Repetier Host. Let's have a little look at Repetier Host now. <clears throat> One second, just loading up here. Okay, so there we go. There's 3D Benchy. Now, get yourself a mouse with a scroll wheel so that you can easily zoom out. So let's just look at a few things that we could do here. Okay, so I've zoomed out. Look, you can click and drag the view. Okay. Um, that you, you can export export your file back out. Here's where you would, for example, add a fresh or a different object, okay? Here is where you would make copies, okay? Depending on how many you want. Center object. Scale. And, you know, you could make it taller or wider, but usually they're, they're locked. Um, so that if you change x, y, or z axis, it'll always be the same. Here, um, you can rotate object. Let's just do a little bit of that, for example. Okay. And, and, and so on. So basically, once you have your object in, right, you go to slice up. This is going to slice it up into loads of little layers because, as you probably already know, 3D printers work by doing lots and lots of little layers. So that's why they're called a slicer. Uh, Repetio Host has Cura Engine, Slicer and Slicer Prusher, Prusher Edition. And you go in, and you know, you can, you can go into the manager and the configuration, but look, you slice. And it takes a few seconds. <coughs> it gives you an estimated print time. And if we, for example, went to show layer range, watch, and I'm just going to make that a little bit bigger so we can see what's going on. 
that'll be the bottom of it but it shows the layers that are going to happen to make up Benchy. Okay. And in fact, as, as this prints, you can actually watch it going through the layers. So that's pretty cool stuff. Just a couple of other quick little things about Repetier Host. Uh, I used to always plug my computer into my 3D printer, but now I don't. You just click on Save for SD Print and use your little SD card, and then you're free to do whatever you want on your computer while your 3D printer is printing from the SD print. And also in here, manual control. Um, now I'm not connected at this, this moment, but you'd, you'd, you'd connect over there. And once you're connected, you can do things like moving your motors and uh, sending stuff to home. You can home X, Y, Z axis. You can switch on your fan and change your bed temperatures here. Uh, so, so basically, and, and you know, you can get into your printer settings here as well. So I hope this video has been of some interest to you, some use to you. Um, and yeah, I personally have found Repetier Host to be excellent and Thingiverse to be excellent. Okay, hope you enjoyed this video and uh, see you again soon in another one. Thanks for listening. Good luck. Bye.